Hi, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to do general check writing within QuickBooks. This is basically check writing without an invoice. So the reasons you might want to do this is let's just say that you have a one-time vendor or you have an expense or something that you need to write a check for but don't necessarily have an invoice for that vendor or a bill from that vendor to write the check against. You can just do a general check writing capability within QuickBooks to show that you've spent this money. And the way to do that is from the Quick Start menu on the home page, you can go into the banking section and select write checks, or you can go into the banking section of the toolbar and select write checks. Once that screen comes up, you will see that it actually looks like a check that you would normally write, but it's on the screen. Now, in the bank account section, select the bank account in which you're writing this check out of. We're going to select our checking Bank of America account. Now, you'll notice here where it says ending balance. This is the amount of money that QuickBooks has or is showing available in your bank account. Again, this should be balanced because every day you should be putting transactions in there. However, if it's not and you know that there's money in the bank, that's completely okay. So then you need to put pay to the order of or who you're writing this check to. So we're going to say that we're writing it to ABC Services. Now, if, as you notice that there's already a vendor list being supplied to match that vendor up to. If this is a new vendor, you can go ahead and type the name in there and you'll just be prompted to set up this vendor in QuickBooks before this check is completed. So we're just going to say it's a new vendor, ABC Services. As you see, it says it's not in the names list. Do you want to add this? Do you want to add this to your QuickBooks file? And you can hit a quick add, which means it's just a quick, you know, push of the button and the vendor's created, or you can put setup if this is going to be an ongoing vendor. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to hit quick add. And you get to say it's a vendor, it's a customer, it's employee, it's an other. Now, the reason why you would select customer, let's just say it's a refund check that you're giving. Or if it's an employee, it could be a bonus check or a reimbursement check. Or you can select other, which means it's not necessarily a vendor, but it is somewhere that you've actually purchased something or did some kind of expense there. We're going to select other. And other you would also use for like gas stations. Um, you know, if you're at the airport, and you go to one of those vendors there. You're not going to use that on a monthly basis, so why flood your vendor list with those type of vendors? Just select other. All right, and again, you put the check number here if you've already written the check in your actual checkbook. Or if you want to print the check, you can hit to be printed. And for this sake of this tutorial, we're going to say that we need to print out this check. The vendor is sitting here waiting to get paid, and we need to print this check out for them. And the date that you're going to write the check and the amount and we're going to say this is for repair of AC you can put whatever memo you want here and because this is a quick start or quick setup vendor we don't have an address we don't have anything within this column here other than the name if you want to put the address you can Again, it'll add it. And then you would select which account. We're going to do repairs and maintenance because this is a repair of our AC unit. Again, if it's something for inventory, you'd want to select which item it is and fill out your inventory descriptions, your cost, your quantity whether you're billing it to the customer or not, and whether you're job costing it to the customer. But we're going to make this simple, and we're going to say just a regular expense. This is what it's for. We're not going to cost it to a company, or I'm sorry, a customer, because this has to do with our building. Then you would hit Save and Close, and because we have it selected to be printed, you're now going to have to go and print it. So hit Save and Close. And there you have it. You've written a check within QuickBooks. Now, if you want to go out and print the check, go to File, 
go down to print forms, go down to checks, select which bank account, and there's our check. If you want to print it, again, up here at the top where it says first check number, write the check number that you are printing or type it in and then hit OK. And you'll be ready to print. And that's our lesson on how to write a general check out of QuickBooks.